I want to start this video off by saying I did play through the entire game. I can see why it is a good game that people do enjoy. I put around 30 hours into the game on Ultra Violence, and after that I went back and played on Ultra Nightmare for the first five levels. I'm not saying this as someone who just played 90 minutes of the game and wasn't feeling it, as a lot of people have said in certain reviews. However, I will say that I could already feel most of the issues before being even two hours into the game, and they only got worse with time. I'm personally making this video because I feel as though there have been a lot of people not really enjoying the game and not feeling it, but so many of them are unable to put into words properly those feelings, so I decided to try and do my best to get out there the feeling that I've had while playing the game and really kind of break it down and explain why I'm not enjoying it. I also want to say that I do recognize that it's a fantastic game, just not for me the same way character action games just are really not for me. So basically, I'll kick it off with the most honest take I can give you, it's the combat puzzles that actively make me and others dislike the game, and any other real complaint is honestly just preference. I get the combat loop has an appeal to people, but I feel for a very large number of people it's seriously lacking that appeal. In Doom 2016, which I will just call 2016 for the rest of this video, you are given the tools to get through a fight, and you have almost everything you have in Eternal, with the exception of some movement stuff and the ice grenades and flame belch, and are told to fight through demons however you want. This appealed to a huge number of people who would find a playstyle they enjoyed and rip and tear through demons however they found enjoyable. The average player doing a playthrough of 2016 looks nothing like someone playing on Ultra Nightmare who knows what they're doing, and when you killed an enemy in 2016 they dropped health and ammo. The developers consider each enemy engagement in Doom Eternal to be a combat puzzle. The thing with making a puzzle is that a puzzle has a solution. That solution is to use everything you have at your disposal to your advantage. You're supposed to flame belch before you blood punch, glory kill always, and leave fodder for when topping up on health and ammo depending on the need, or ice grenade groups of enemies to hit them with a flame belch and then blood punch for example to get some health and a bit of shield back. My point here is there's really an optimal way to solve the puzzle and luckily the devs completely balance the game around this. That, as the devs have said themselves in interviews, is how they designed the game and wanted it to be played and were basically kind of forcing you to play it in that way to really do good at it. As long as you are losing the items and tools at your disposal to kill all the demons, it's honestly pretty easy to tear through everything as long as you're playing that way, and it is the difference between leaving a fight with no health and ammo or leaving a fight with most of it. So here's the real issue. I, and I feel many other players, hate this combat puzzle loop. I do not want to use glory kills or grenades or chainsaws and flame belches. When it comes down to it, how I played 2016 and what caused me to love it, which was just running around not glory killing unless I needed to and mostly just shooting everything to death always, doesn't really work here. The game was likely designed in a direct response to how people used the chainsaw and grenades in 2016. They just wouldn't. You could run around the whole game just shooting everything to death and dodging heavily and not really have to use the tools it gave you. I forgot the chainsaw even dropped all the ammo it did in 2016 because I simply didn't use it that much like ever and I didn't really use the grenade at all either. Now, I know people are just going to say, oh, but you can just shoot things, but you really kind of can't because now in Eternal you basically got a gory glory kill. It's become mandatory and specifically to me and others, it feels like watching someone doing something cool instead of doing yourself. In Eternal, you have to send a grenade at Cacodemons to pretty much get the auto glory kill on them. You have to blood punch the Mecha Mandibus to help get rid of the armor, and you have to chainsaw enemies for ammo. The puzzle they've made, it feels like it has a pretty set solution. It was literally designed this way, it's just that I don't have fun with this puzzle. I just want to run and gun, and yet to me, and to many others, it feels as though I'm just hitting a checklist of thing and keeping random bars topped up in like a weird survival game instead of just tearing through the demons and enjoying myself. Basically, it just becomes a checklist of stuff I don't want to have to keep up with. I don't want to have to make sure I'm at full ammo when I'm tearing through demons. I don't want to have to freeze enemies to hit them with a flame belch to get shield. I don't want to have to chainsaw all these enemies. I don't want to have to follow what is a specifically laid out path to beat the game. It just isn't fun for me. It's weird for people to hear that and come to acceptance of it, but I feel like that's kind of what you have to do. It's okay for me to dislike something you like, and vice versa, however I do know it's really weird to see someone tearing their way through tons of zombies and demons and wonder how they're not having a good time. Hell, one of my best friends actually watched me play it and just went, how are you not enjoying this? Because if you're just watching gameplay of it, it looks awesome, yet I can honestly tell you from experience, when you aren't feeling that combat loop, 
you really aren't feeling it. The game as a whole just becomes very unenjoyable and honestly, boring to play. Now, there's a lot of other things that people dislike, but most of those just come down to preference. Stuff like how there's one-ups with the Doom Guy's helmet, the health is changed from a little container to a potion bottle, the enemies look more rubbery and kind of cartoony than 2016, it feels a little less grounded and realistic in a game where you kill demons, I know that's a dumb complaint, but that's it's still a complaint. As well as things like key cards are no longer found on bodies and within the world environment, they're now just floating in place and glowing. The environments go more into being like a fantasy land so much that you almost feel like elves are going to be around the next corner. Stuff like the glowing green wolf really threw me off. The story is really kind of down to preference, but it throws so much at you so fast that unless you actually take the time to stop and read stuff, which is something I enjoyed not having to do in 2016, you really would have no idea what's going on. And the fact that it drags you out to third person for most of the cutscenes is something that I personally don't enjoy much at all. I loved everything being in first person in 2016, and now it just feels like they're kind of trying to push for microtransactions and battle pass unlocks by allowing you to actually see the Doom Slayer a bit more, instead of only seeing everything from his first person perspective. That's all really preference, and a lot of these issues don't matter a whole lot and can honestly be brushed off as nitpicky, but when you're already not really enjoying the game and take a look at those things, they lessen the experience to a greater degree and it just kind of impacts it to make it feel a lot worse. It is a good game, and it's one the developers did a fantastic job on. It's just not like 2016 where it had a much broader appeal, and all these little nitpicky kind of dumb issues end up making the game as a whole just feel so much worse already. A lot of people were kind of wanting and hoping for Doom 2016, the sequel, and it's simply not that. If you go in expecting that, you will be let down a lot like I was. I've been reading reviews from even people who enjoy it, and they're even saying things like people wanting more of Doom 2016 are going to be disappointed. Overall, this is a solid game, even if it wasn't what I was expecting it to be. I still highly recommend it. It's worth every penny, it just doesn't quite pull at me the way Doom 2016 did and still does. It's a good game, but it misses some of the points that created the cult-like culture behind Doom 2016. I took all of these quotes directly from the recommended section on Steam. Even a large number of people who enjoy the game are still finding issues and aren't quite getting the game they expected, even though they still love it. But if you are not enjoying it, and you're coming into it and getting this, which you didn't expect to get, you're going to be very let down and it's going to impact it a lot more. I wanted to make this video because, for me personally, I thought Doom Eternal would be one of the greatest games I've ever played. I thought it would be one of the highlights of the year, and I thought it would probably be one of the best games just flat out ever made. Instead, it ended up being probably the biggest disappointment I've ever played in a game. I was genuinely so excited for the game that I didn't even bother watching all the trailers or looking into it, because I knew, oh, it's the sequel to 2016, it's gonna be amazing, it's gonna be outstanding. I watched a single video that was like, eh, I have some doubts, but I didn't really look into it more than that. I just looked at it and was like, this seems like everything I want it to be. I cannot wait for this game. And I was really disappointed. I feel like a lot of people are as well, but they don't quite have the ability to put that to words properly. I've seen so many reviews where people just aren't enjoying it and feel pretty much the same way I do, but the way they're wording it and the way that they're going about saying it just isn't impacting or landing the same way. That's why I wanted to make this video. I wanted to try and get out there and explain to people why it is that some people aren't liking the game because a lot of people are just kind of doing a poor job at it. So, hopefully now you have a better understanding where certain people who aren't enjoying the game are coming from. And if you do, good. If you don't, well, I'll try to explain it more in the comments if you'd like to leave one. Thanks for watching.